<sighs> well, hey everyone, and happy Force Friday. Um, it's uh, it's been a long, like 36 hours. My wife and I have been waiting in lines at Toys R Us's and Targets and even Bed Bath and Beyond. So it's been just crazy. Um, but we got pretty much everything that was on our list. Uh, one of the main things was this guy right here. There will be a, a big review coming for him, but I'm still learning some of the controls. Uh, most of it's actually pretty intuitive and it's pretty easy to use, but there's a couple things I want to make sure I've kind of got down pat before I show the whole internet. So stay tuned for this guy. bb eight's absolutely amazing. Um, one of the big things I wanted to show you that was on my list, as you, I'm sure you can imagine, was this guy. Um, this is uh, the Kylo Ren Black Series Force FX lightsaber, uh, very much in the same vein as the Force FX lightsabers that were released uh, before. The packaging is absolutely massive. It's kind of hard to miss it in stores. Um, except for the fact that it wasn't in many stores. Uh, if you guys were anything like Central Texas, I think there were only about a dozen of these spread out throughout the city. So uh, while I was at work today, because I had to go back into work, which sucked after only a few hours of sleep, uh, my wife was still scouring the city uh, with our youngest son in tow, no less, and she found that. So, baby, thank you. You're the best. Um, but let's talk about the actual saber. So one thing you do get, or a couple things you get, I guess, rather. You get uh, this nifty little stand that comes for the saber. I, it's kind of weird just the way the actual Kylo Ren hilt is shaped, so I'm probably not even going to use this with the way I display my sabers. But the thing you're probably all really interested in is the actual saber itself, right here. So, um, just as kind of comparison for it, here is that 3D printed one that I showed you guys earlier when I kind of looked at the flambears. Say, or the flambers from Ultra Sabers. These are actually uh, pretty similar in size. The uh, diameter for these emitters, the side emitters, is a little bit wider simply to accommodate for these blades. They do taper a little bit. Uh, you can't really see quite as well, but these uh, in person, they taper really well. It's, it's a slight taper, but um, it, it, it gives it a really cool effect. Um, it's heavy. It's definitely uh, metal. It feels very solid, which is good and bad, um, you know, depending on what you're doing with this. Given the rarity and the the, the the price of this, it was $200, which honestly, now that I own it, I'm not sure if it's worth the full $200. Um, this wire here, actually a wire. It's not just a uh, piece of, um, you know, molded plastic or something. It's actually a wire sticking out of there, which is, again, good and bad. This is definitely something I would use more of as a prop. Um, I would like to change up some of the electronics at some juncture uh, just to make it a little bit brighter because it's, you know... Comparatively speaking, if I'm at a well-lit mm -hmm. Comic-Con or something, it's not going to be mm -hmm. quite as great. But uh, this is the activation switch right over here. I'll show you guys that in just a minute. Um, to open it, okay, my keys, you just kind of stick pretty much whatever in there. This whole bottom bit here on screws. Shoot. And then this entire thing here comes out, which is kind of cool because this whole thing's kind of hollow right in this area right here. This whole thing comes out, has the battery pack. Uh, kind of, you know, very similar to the old Force Effects if you ever had those. This one takes double A's as opposed to triple A's. I'm not sure what, uh, what that means exactly or why they tra change it like that or why they need to change it. But, uh, I mean, I kind of remember the old ones taking, um, Wesley, um, so the way, just the way this worked, um, I'm really happy with this saber for the most part. Um, again, there's a lot of designs here. I don't know if you can see these. These look, almost look like they're little sections of Vader's old saber. I don't know if you remember what the bottom of Vader's saber looked like. It's kind of cool. You definitely have this kind of this scar or window, whatever you want to call it, so you can kind of see the uh, the inner workings of the hilt and everything. Um, it's really interesting. And then, of course, the electronics, which I'm sure is what most of you are interested in. So, Yeah. So it's um it's not as bright as like say an Ultra Saber or something, and uh, definitely not nearly as bright as something you'd get from like Saber Forge or Makoto. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But there's kind of a cool flicker effect that's coming off of this guy. Hang on, let me uh, turn this light off here. Maybe it'll pick it up a little bit better. Um, is the camera picking this up even? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit more footage once it gets a little bit darker out. Um, you know, I've got that big ceiling fan light on, and my sunroofs and the the big old uh, windows are still open and everything. So a lot of light coming in from all those things. But um, you know, in terms of sound card, you know, definitely uh, different sounds than you'd get from a, a typical lightsaber. Definitely kind of a unique sound font there, 
which, you know, again, kind of goes with the bits that we've seen in this lightsaber from the trailer. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to turn this guy back off. And I want to show you guys kind of a comparison between this saber and some of the other uh, cross guard and just other sabers that are out there. Uh, just kind of as a comparison. So here's that. All right, so it's finally dark outside. So here we go. This is the uh, Ultra Sabers Flambears. You see, that's uh, it's pretty great, all things considered. I mean, it is dark out, and uh, you know, this is definitely a lighter sword, much more so than this, which is kind of funny because this is one of the heavier lightsabers I own. So. Just for comparison's sake, uh, I do love that the uh, the cross guards ignite separately. Uh, obviously, it's definitely not as bright as this guy. Uh, I think the camera is doing a pretty good job picking that up. Um, hoping it gets a good look at that. At the way this flickers, is it uh, kind of showing that at all? A little. Well, either way. This guy down here. Uh, you know, it's funny. People talk about how this cross guard, all you're going to do is slice your arm off. And if you're holding it like this, so like the cross guards are parallel to your arm, yeah, you will. But if you hold it like this with a perpendicular to your forearm, you can spin this for days. And the cross guard never goes anywhere near your wrist. So. Uh, you know, this definitely is heavy, I'm not going to lie, uh, but uh, the, the hilt's pretty comfortable, all things considered, just because of all the grooves in here. It's pretty easy to find it, like, you know, get a good grip on it and have a comfortable grip. And this is probably unfair, but just for, you know, good measure, show, show everything. Uh, here's the Makoto. Here's the brightness. So, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty hefty difference, all things considered. You know, um... I can see the reflection of the Mako the reflection of the Makoto on this is brighter than the actual saber. So, um, yeah, you know, I think if I'm going to take this to a con or some kind of event or something like that, I definitely am going to want to go ahead and uh, do something to kind of take care of this. But I like the hilt for what it is. It's uh, definitely not bad. Yeah. The grip's not bad on here at all. I could definitely get used to this. Uh, like I said, the weight is uh, something I definitely notice. I'm used to because, again, the Makoto Sabres are so light. So dealing with something like this that's a lot heavier uh, certainly does take a bit of getting used to, but at the same time, it's it's not you know, impossible to do. So, yeah, I'm, uh, it's pretty fantastic. Really excited with how this turned out, yeah. Um, so I'm going to just go back and show you guys the comparison with all of these, all the sabers indoors, just so you can get a look at how everything's going to show up in, you know, some actual lighting. So, yeah. For comparison's sake, here's the 3D printed collar and saber. I got it from Etsy. It's pretty easy to find this guy if you just do a quick Google search. Uh, you know, this is just kind of a 1-1 one -one scale of the actual hilt. You want to get a good look at it. This is the new uh, twelve dollar. Uh, I guess it's kind of a kid, more kids version toy. I forget what they're calling this exact line here. Uh, it's pretty neat. All you do is kind of flick it really hard, and suddenly there it is. Everything pops out of there, and um, you know it's actually in terms of size and everything. Uh, for what it is, you know, I, I got two of these for my sons, and they really seem to love them, so that's this guy here. Obviously, no electronics or anything, but given that my sons are four and two, they don't really need electronics. This guy's uh, something special. This guy is the uh, Black Series Force Effects lightsaber. This is the uh, the new one that just came out yesterday, and so what we're going to do, I just want, it's, this one's really heavy. It's uh, definitely uh, made of metal. I really like the weight of it. And then just for uh, the, the button here's on the back. And again, I mean, this is a, my, my house is uh, fully lit. I've got a couple sunroofs on. Uh, I like the sound, like, I don't know if you can tell the flickering effect. I'm gonna redo this when we're actually in the dark so you can get a better look at the flickering effect. 
And then just again for comparison of brightness, we've got the uh, Extra Sabers Flam Bears Hilt right here. Let's pop this guy on. And you can see the Flam Bears is a lot brighter than the Force Effects. The Force Effects doesn't need new batteries. I think uh, I only had a few double A's laying around the house. I don't know how fresh they were, so I'm going to try and do another video at some point where this has uh, completely fresh batteries. But, um, you know, that's just kind of get a look at the two sabers comparatively. And then last but not least, this is a red Makoto saber. So you can kind of get a gauge and brightness for all of these guys. You know, the, the Makoto saber obviously has the more sophisticated electronics out of all three. Uh, it's obviously not a cross guard. I just kind of wanted it for a comparison for the brightness of these four sabers, or these, well, yeah, three sabers, I guess. Um, just kind of an interesting thing, taking a look at all of these. You know, Mike Hodge from uh, Saber Stash here in town, he does a lot of great electronic work, so I'm hoping I can get him to uh, convert that Force Effects hilt into something more of an inhaled LED. It's going to be a little bit brighter. Definitely brighter than the uh, Ultra Saber's hilt, not, you know, not sure if it'll be quite as bright as the uh, Makoto, but you know, it's uh, definitely something to take into consideration. And then, I don't know, uh, if you can get a decent look at how the, this is flickering. I've seen a couple videos of some really cool flickering effects that some guys have done. You know, obviously this is a very plain hilt. Uh, you know. But for choreography and fight scenes and stuff, and even for, you know, far away stuff, this, this isn't bad. By any stretch, it'll definitely uh, do the trick. And then again, this is of course just the uh, Makoto, very plain hilt, but also really cool electronics and a very bright blade. So, you know, kind of uh, take that how you will. But uh, these are definitely, uh, oh man, you, if you didn't know better, you'd think I was getting some kind of an obsession with Kylo Ren. That's, that's crazy though, right? <laughs> House is natural lighting. It's about five o'clock here in Central Texas. So uh, we're getting a little bit of natural light. Like I said, I've got a couple of sunroofs in this house, and um, you know, just what's streaming into the windows. You know, if, if I uh, just kind of look at it on its own, because you know, obviously these are all going to get picked up on cameras in different ways. Uh, the saber certainly doesn't look bad. Um, this one looks obviously comparatively brighter. It's not as evenly lit, and then of course the Makoto just looks incredible. Now just remember the Makoto is not nearly as durable as these, oops, the Makoto is not going to be as durable as the Ultra Sabers, um, and you know, just give them what it is, and I would definitely, under no circumstances, do any kind of uh, fighting choreography, sparring, anything like that, with that, um, with the Force Effects Saber over here on the left, just because, you know, the Force Effects Sabers are infamous for, you know, candy striping when you get those dark spots along the blade. I'd absolutely hate to have that happen. Um, I definitely do want to do put some fresh batteries into this uh, Force Effects Saber, simply because I I'm wondering if that really is how much difference brightness in brightness there is, or if there's uh, you know something else at play, some other factor at play here. Uh, as it stands right now, unmodified, this is most definitely a uh, a display saber more than there's anything else. You know, it might be cool as a cosplay prop, depending. But again, if you're at a really well-lit con, then this is definitely not going to show up all that well in photos and everything, which is definitely a problem I've run into in the past. So, uh, you, you know, kind of a buyer beware deal for that. Uh, this is also really rare to find. I, was, I found out that uh, there were, uh, in terms of just Target stores, there were only six of these, the, the Force Effects Sabers, in, here in San Antonio. Uh, thank, thank goodness my wife was able to find this one at the Target she did. She found it this morning, so I'm, I'm very fortunate. I'm one of the lucky guys that's got this one. Um, and on, on top of that, I haven't heard anyone who found one anymore, like Toys R Us or Sharper Image or Best Buy or anything like that. Sharper Image is, is Sharper Image even around anymore? I don't know. Um, yeah. 